Hey everybody, I wanted to just quickly show you guys, if you guys uh, have the Galaxy Watch 3, as you know, uh, the FDA did approve the um, blood pressure sensor and things like this that you can have on the watch itself. Uh, I just kind of wanted to show you guys, I did install it on the um, Galaxy, so um, you're able to do it. As you can see there's the blood pressure and the ECG that you can do. Um, you have to do a couple of downloads and then uh, get that installed in there. There's a couple of files that you have to um, download and then install on here. So let's go, let's go, let me unlock this real quick. Out here, uh, download them. Uh, this is the Samsung Health uh, Monitor, uh, oops, not that one, the Samsung, that's the one you want to install first. So basically you'll go ahead and download it and install it. Uh, it might ask you if you want to install this APK, it's not safe, go ahead and approve it and install it. So that way it's installed. So uh, go ahead and open it. If you get this no compatible watch found, that's okay. Go ahead and continue without a watch. Install the, uh, the, the actually app that goes in the watch itself here because that's where um, you're going to want to do an install. Once it has done here, uh, hit done, and you'll see this pop up. Sometimes it pops up right away. Sometimes it doesn't. It's just kind of actually asking you if you want to install from an unknown source. In this case, yeah, install it. And then what happens is um, after a little bit, let me put this down, and you'll see if you go down to your apps on your watch itself, you might want to go all the way to the end because usually it installs everything at the very end. So if you give it a few, it should pop up here any, you know, over a little bit of a time. So what I'll do in the meantime, while it's doing that, um, we'll go ahead and uh, go back over here to the um, application so we can get this, leave it ready so we can, um, you know, kind of go back. There it is. As you saw that, it just pop up right there. So now it's installed in there. So now we can um, continue here. So you can uh, also go through here, give it access. And there's the blood pressure. ECG and everything is now available here. So again, it's going to ask you to open the app on the phone. Open. So no compatible watch phone. So just go go ahead and do that. Hit OK um, on this. So basically, this is going to welcome to the sense of health. Go, I agree. Continue. And then uh, go ahead and hit start. Uh, so you can back up your stuff in here. So once it's doing this, uh, we'll go ahead and let it go through this uh, process real quick here. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and install the uh, the app that actually goes on the watch itself, which is the second one I um, showed you guys. So let me go back out. Uh, you want to go ahead and you can create your information. So I'm going to go ahead and put the information here really quick. That's good if you want to share um, your info with your doctor. So then what you do is basically just kind of... Let me put this on the right. Okay, and then you just click on next here. And then uh, it's going to tell you, make sure it's the FDA cleared. Hit next. And then we'll get uh, go ahead and get started. It kind of warns you and stuff. It, not warn you, but gives you some um, advice and things what you have to do. It's uh, probably going to, since I've been running around and stuff, I'm probably going to have a uh, not, not so right. Um, so make sure you put your uh, watch on. As you can see, as, as soon as I clicked on that, it kind of like already set this um, on the watch itself. So let me put this on. Remember, don't put it so tight. It's got to be, you know, sort of not loose, but not also um, where it's uh, loose. Yes, that's, that's kind of good when it's doing that. So then we'll go ahead and going to hit uh, next here. So it's telling you to go ahead and put your... Uh, uh, blood pressure so I'm gonna go ahead and start it now so you hear my blood pressure monitor is going so what I'm basically gonna do is um, I'll put that down and then you guys can see here uh, and then the watch itself is gonna start I'm not supposed to be talking while I'm doing this or sitting I'm supposed to be sitting down but I just kind of want to show you guys here I would have to I'm gonna have to recalibrate this once um, you know, get this, you know, done correctly for, and depending on the reading I get, uh, that's what I'm going to use for uh, putting it in there manually on the phone itself. 
So we'll get this. Um, Okay, so there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that. See, it's going to tell me uh, no retake if you want to retake it or something for some reason that didn't go right. So I'm going to go yes, enter it. Uh, here, I'm going to go ahead and put whatever I got. I got 116 on this. And then I I got, let's see, what was that reading? 72. So I'm going to go ahead and put 72. Bring that down. I'm sorry. It was focusing for you guys. And then I'm going to hit done. And then confirm. So, and then I'm going to go, that's the first measurement. So I'm going to go ahead and do a next measurement. So same thing is going to ask, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to start the blood pressure now. So I'm going to set this down and, and go ahead and start it. And again, I was, you know, it's supposed to be, you know, kind of not running around or I'm um, just kind of supposed to be sitting down. What I've noticed if I put my finger on there, it actually catches it. So, okay, enter the readings. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, again, select, um, oops, sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and select, uh, yes, enter now. And then I'm gonna get my readings here. So it's a 110, oops, 110 here. And then I'm gonna click on there. And then the, I think that was 75 this time, 75, bring it down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit confirm so that's it and then that was the second measurement completed you know you know if you didn't want to measure you can always do measure later like i said but um and then i'm gonna go ahead and hit next and i'm gonna turn this off and then i'll turn it back on and i'm gonna go ahead and hit next and i'll set this down and i'm gonna go the final reading here and again it just uh, kind of resets on its own um on the watch itself so it's going to be ready to catch itself it goes by seconds on the watch on the phone itself so let's see um we'll let this oops let me forgot to turn on the blood pressure monitor. Okay, so now we're good. So now again, we're going to go ahead and um, yes, enter now. And here I'm going to go ahead and put my reading. So this time uh, it was 98. Oops, 98. And then here is, I believe, 71. 71 and done here so i'm gonna go ahead and confirm and as you can see here calibrate calibration finished uh now i got it on my watch itself as you can see here it's good to go now i can take my blood pressure and things like this and then i'll go ahead and hit okay here and now it's going to go here see it says new update for now um, I just kind of ignore that for now. I don't want to update it and then maybe mess something up for now. So again, you know, when you want to do any calibration, go ahead and hit done here. Now it's, everything's going to function correctly like it's supposed to. Um, just normally, like if you want to do some blood pressure or anything like that. So uh, I'll go measure. and kind of tells you again to make your get your wash. So you know what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm gonna stand still here and then, oops, sorry. Then I'm gonna compare it, I'll do another, uh, I'll do a. So I get, I get, you know, I did come, it does uh, show 106, 106 over 77. So we'll see what um, I get on the watch. Hopefully it gives me a reading. There it is, actually, there he is. Actually, that's pretty good. Uh, on the device, I got 106, 107 here, uh, over 77 and here 74. So, you know, just kind of give you an idea. So the other thing is, um, if you did want to measure, um, oops, I went a little bit too far out. And let's do, you can do a ECG here. This will open up in your phone as, you know, once you click on that, let me uh, unlock this real quick. So you, right there, you get started. Our next um, kind of gives you the, just the rundown really quick since this is the first time I opened up the app. Uh, and then you, you choose what side of your uh, watch you're going to wear it at. So in this case, I have on the left. So I'm going to hit done. And here it is. Uh, so I'll, I'll set that down and then I'll go ahead and hit OK. So it's going to read my readings here. So I got to show you here. What you have to do is don't push this button down. 
just set your finger just lightly kind of put some pressure on it as you can see i'm putting some pressure on it uh, i'm not supposed to talk because then it'll reset itself i think it feels a vibration but i'll let it go right here it takes 30 seconds so it reads it and um and it transfers the information down to your phone itself and again you can email it um, and save it however you want for your doctors or you know share the information to um, any medical personnel that you need to show off to inconclusive see it's because I'm just talking I'm so <laughs> I'm not supposed to be moving around but it gave me 87 here as you can see and then you got also got an option let's say um, if you want to save it and uh, mark it you can either hit done or you can just hit uh, add here and see how you can just choose and choose what um, what how you were feeling at that time that you did that reading um, you know it's got a couple of them I'm just, like, I, I can put like none and I can just hit save and then what happens is I can hit done here and then once you're you're done let me open this up really fast oops uh, ch -ch -ch. sorry guys okay see and it transfers that actually fairly fast as you can see it's already in the uh, phone itself uh, that's very how quickly it is if you click on it gives you a breakdown if you want to see the charts and things like this uh, you can go open as a P with the PDF again like I said you can um, save this information email it however you like to your doctor like in this case uh, you can see download if I hit download it will uh, say to my whatever I want to have in my files send file I can send the file by email or text however I like or save it to your drive like for example download so basically I'll download the health monitor of that EKG on there so it should be over here once it's saved as you can see here it's under my download so I have it there again I could either email it from there or um, you know send it or however you whatever you want to do that's a nice thing that you can share it and do things and uh, you know and do other um, um, information with it and you can also go to view history once you have a lot of information here and then um, you can also uh, go here like in this one case it was registered as an inconclusive oops. inconclusive so everything that's inconclusive would uh, oops show up on that if I would just want for all I would hit all so everything will show up here here I get the option to delete as again and you got so many uh, places that you can um, share it and you know how to use it kind of tells you if you if you uh, forget how to use this application and then if you want to go to your blood pressure and then you can see here same thing view history and the month weeks however you you know you're keeping track of your you know your blood pressure readings and things like that just keep in mind that um it's only gonna you know it's not gonna be 100 percent accurate so far that i know uh compared to a fda approved uh device so you know just kind of take that as a um pretty close maybe uh you'll be a couple of digits off but at least you get an idea you know um if you start seeing and feeling bad and pick up the the original um fda approved uh, device so that's it uh so just remember install the apps in the order i showed you guys uh you gotta install the um let's go to internal downloads you know make sure you install the um samsung health monitor app first and then once you get that installed like i showed you guys um uh, then you can go ahead and install the APK file of the, um, which is the app for the, for the watch itself, and then just kind of follow in, and then yeah, that's all. You'll get the uh, blood pressure working on your phone. Hope this helps. Uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.